Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the Scott Sports 101 Monday Night Football Post Game Show. Well, an embarrassing and humiliating loss for the Browns, and just a uh, tough night for the Browns and Rick and Mayfield all around as they lose to the San Francisco 49ers by the final score of 31 to 3. The Browns struggled offensively and defensively, and by far, and it was a rough night for Baker Mayfield. Mayfield got sacked four times, and the Browns turned the ball over four times. And penalties just cost them. And, uh, and the thing that took the Browns out of out of the out of the game early was just uh, incons- it was inconsistency and uh, and a poor offensive play and poor defensive play and. They weren't. They did not play with efficiency and discipline tonight. And uh, Baker Mayfield needs to be more consistent. And the Browns are are gonna be doing a lot of soul searching this week. And they're gonna look at their mistakes and try to fix them because they're gonna be going up against the Seattle Seahawks this coming Sunday in uh, Week Six. Week six of the NFL, and uh, and they're gonna want to really. It's gonna be here at home at First Energy Stadium, and they're gonna want to win that one because they're gonna have the home crowd behind them. So they're really gonna have to come out and really uh, be do- dominate this game like they did when they played Baltimore last week. And we had a chance to stop the AFC North and go to three and two, but it just did not happen tonight. And and it was just poor offensive playing, poor defensive playing, and uh, and the 49ers just took the Browns out of this game early and never let up. And uh, the 49ers had this game in the palm of their hands from the get-go, and as I said, they never let up. And the Browns turned the ball over four times, and they tried to get the ball to Odell Beckham Jr. several times, but Mayfield and the Browns just could not do it. And uh, so, and but and. Browns were down 21 to three at halftime, and just didn't, things just did not get any better. And uh, by by the fourth quarter, until it was all until it was all uh, and it was all 49ers, and they get the win. The Browns just couldn't do anything more, and it was and they get the win, 31 to three, the 49ers. And, and, uh, 49ers go to four and zero for the first time since 1990, and the Browns. Fall to two and three and are now in second place in the AFC North. But I'm hoping they can win the next two games that we have coming up. So to get us to four and three, because I want us to be able to play I want us to get back in the first place, and I want the Ravens to lose the next two games by far. But boys, you gotta do a lot of soul searching. Look at your mistakes and correct them and fix them. And have, be more consistent and play with efficiency and discipline. And Austin Seaver uh, kicked the Browns and scored the Browns' only field goal for three points tonight. And you got to put the pressure on the opposing team and not give them so much room to run. And and there were too many interceptions. You have to not have interceptions. And Mayfield, you have to not get sacked by far. And there has to be no penalties and no turnovers whatsoever in this game. That's what that's what got everybody upset tonight. Because it was humiliating and it was a blowout tonight. And they had, had an opportunity to uh, stop the AFC North and, and, and the 49ers undefeated sk- streak, but they could not do it. The Browns just did not do anything right in this all in this game tonight at all. Nothing by far. And fan, players and fans, they're all frustrated because they did not want this game to be a blowout tonight. And and I'm going to say this right now. Bra- boys, Baker Mayfield, Brad, Freddie Kitchens, and our whole Browns team, you better not play against the Seahawks the way you did tonight. You better come out and be damn well ready to play and be dominant and beat the Seattle Seahawks. Because you cannot play tonight on Sunday against the Seahawks or any other team on Sunday like you did the 49ers tonight. 
because this what this loss was embarrassing and humiliating by far tonight. And I'm sorry if I'm getting upset, but I'm just as frustrated as all sports announcers are, and all YouTube uh, sports channel uh, uh, podcasters are as I am, who are Cle- Cleveland sports fans. So I got to tell you, this game was just not. It was humiliating, and it was a blowout tonight, and the Browns just could not do anything right, and it just went all 49ers. So, Baker Mayfield, this was not, it was inconsistent by far, and he needs to be more consistent. Eight of 22 carries, 100 yards, no touchdowns, two interceptions, but Nick Chubb, 16 16 carries and, and 87 yards. So, not a good night for the Browns, but I have to give the game balls to... The 49ers, Jimmy Garoppolo, 20 of 29 carries and attempts, 181 uh, yards, two touchdowns. Matt Breida, 11 uh, uh, carries, 114 yards, one touchdown. Uh, Tevin Coleman, 16 uh, carries, 97 yards, one touchdown. George Kittle, uh, one carry, six uh, uh, receptions, uh, 18 yards passing, 70 yards rushing, one touchdown. And Raheem, uh, Mustard, seven carries and 34 yards. So by far, the, the the five players on the 49ers, they've got those five players on the 49ers got the game balls uh, by far. And I have a lot of fellow news. You may have heard the Redskins fired their head coach, uh, Jay Gruden, after an 0-5 start. And that does not surprise me since he's been there since 2014. And this is by far the Redskins' worst start in the five years that he's been there, and their worst start in NFL history. So, I have to admit, this was just not a good night for the Cleveland Browns on Monday Night Football with their second crack. Because I was hoping that they would win this game and be and be able to win both Monday Night games. They won one with the Jets, and now it did not win tonight's game. But, we have a Thursday night game with the Pittsburgh Steelers coming up in uh, November on Thursday night. And they need to win that one and not play like the way they played the 49ers. So, boys, look at your mistakes. Study them. Practice hard at, at, at uh, team practice this week. And you come out fired up and ready to play and beat the Seattle Seahawks. By playing with efficiency and discipline and dominance. you got to dominate the game. You have to not let up. And you have to hold the lead and not blow it. By far. And I think fans are going to agree with me. And also all media sportscasters and YouTube podcasters are going to agree with me by far. So boys, you better be ready to play the Seahawks this coming Sunday. And once again, I do apologize for my frustration and getting upset. Once again, I do. Uh, well, that's just about going to wrap it up for the Scott Sports 101 Monday Night Football postgame show. And uh, before I go, uh, we will have this Thursday Night Football uh, Giants and Patriots from Gillette Stadium. And uh, Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m., the Carolina Panthers and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will play at uh, North uh, North Tumberland uh, Development uh, uh Project in uh, London, England. That'll be Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m. And uh, the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers will play the L.A. Chargers on Sunday Night Football at StubHub Center in L.A. And Monday Night Football next week, uh, the uh, Packers, the uh, Lions will face the, the Detroit Lions will play the Green Bay Packers at legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay. Uh, and so with that, that's going to do it for, for the Scott Sports 101 Monday Night Football pregame show. Post game show, excuse me, and I'll be back uh, with another one of my podcasts on Wednesday. But until then, always remember be a team player each and every day in every way possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one, I'm done.